He died so that my soul could be cleansed, so that my body could become completely clean, so that His Holy Spirit would enter into me. This is going in a weird direction. And just like I wouldn't dare ever refer to Jesus as just an ordinary guy. None of us would. Like, are you kidding me? He was a man and somehow he was God all at once. You can't call him ordinary. But don't you understand? That's what he's saying about us now. What? I am not God in human flesh. Neither are you. Being indwelled by the Holy Spirit is not a concept that is synonymous with the incarnation of the Son of God. This is this is a version of the little God's doctrine here. Wow. I'm back in this blasphemy up. Somehow he was God all at once. You can't call him ordinary, but don't you understand? That's what he's saying about us now. Like right now you're looking at a person who is not just a person. What are you exactly then? Somehow God is in me and there's a sense in which I am like God and man all at once. You were made for such a time as this, Francis, man. You're going to go do something special in Hong Kong. I can clearly see it. This is blasphemy. I, I mean, this kind of harkens back to the uh, back to the Garden of Eden, you know, the temptation of the serpent telling the woman, yeah, yeah when you eat of this, you're going to be like God. Yeah, this, yeah, this is... This is not Christian sanctification. This is not a proper understanding of good works. Like I said, this is a catechism into narcissism and borders on, if if not crosses the border into uh, this concept that you're a little deity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this is uh, this is a mess.